The death toll from the reported Lambanog poisoning in southern Tagalog has risen to 11. Mayor Ven Munoz of Rizal Laguna already declared a state of emergency and banned the sale of Lambanog in all stores in Rizal as the fatalities continue. But the incidents were apparently not isolated in Laguna. A resident of Candelaria, Quezon, also died on Thursday after consuming the coconut liquor. Calabarzon Police has advised all provincial directors and chiefs in the region to advise all vendors not to sell Lambanog for the meantime pending the request of the Food and Drug Administration or FDA to examine all Lambanog brands in Southern Tagalog. In a press conference, Health Secretary Francisco Duque urged local government units to be more proactive in monitoring the small-scale production and sale of Lambanog. The LGUs have to closely monitor the activities of such uh, Lambanog uh, manufacturing companies or individuals, but I'm also made to understand that this, in most instances, are a product of uh, backyard uh, industries, which is going to be extremely difficult for the DOH or FDA, more FDA than DOH, to really monitor The Food and Drug Administration seconded this, saying local government units are in a better position to oversee backyard manufacturers. The FDA says they're investigating the direct cause of the deaths, but they believe it's most likely due to methanol poisoning. The agency says methanol is naturally produced when distilling lambanog, but it should be removed through a specific process before the drinks go on sale. The FDA also called on the public to be vigilant in buying Lambanog since only 14 brands have been registered with the FDA. These brands have been certified for following the proper manufacturing processes in making Lambanog.